How's it going everybody? Dragas here and today we are playing some Reigns. Now this is just a little indie game that I found on Steam that looks pretty interesting. I was reading the reviews and it sounds like you can get in some pretty crazy shenanigans in it. Now basically the mechanic of the game is simple. It's a Tinder mechanic for this game. Basically you can swipe left for a decision or right for a decision and then your kingdom is affected by your decision. So this first character I need to govern for at least five years. Sounds simple enough. Uh, I just need to not die in five years. Are you the young king? I'm going to say, uh, yeah, I am. That's kind of the point of this game. So, yeah, let's just say, oh, okay, I already said yes, but, uh, I guess it wants me to make sure that I am saying yes. So, there we go. Uh, so you're the one who unsurped my throne and sent me to this dungeon to rot for eternity. Uh, no, I didn't do that. I, I, I literally just opened this game. Well, you're in charge of the mess now. Good luck with that. They're all pretty crazy. You will see who. Just try to keep a balance between the four powers to keep your head on its shoulders. So it didn't really explain to me who is crazy, uh, but maybe my whole kingdom is. Uh, so I gotta say yes or no to this. I will say yes. I'll listen to him. He, I mean, he was the person in charge before me. I need to respect that. The spirit looks at you thoughtfully and then disappears. You enter the courtroom. Okay, so this is where the decisions come. The miners are refusing to dig in the mine. They want a raise. No, fuck off. You're gonna dig or you're just not gonna gonna work. An earthquake destroyed a large part of the capital. The city guard awaits your orders. Prevent pillaging, save the victims. Hmm, that's actually really difficult. So you can see in the top, it looks like we got religion, the people, that might be fighting, and then money. So we need to keep all this balanced, so I'm kind of focusing on that as we do this as well. Uh, let's prevent the pillaging, I think. Uh, and, well, I wish we could do both, but, you know, we're gonna prevent the pillaging. I think that's a little bit more important. Your people are famished and unrest is spreading. What or what? Are you serious? <laughs> I'm only three years in power and I'm already basically given up. Alright, so I guess we're gonna say what? The castle is ransacked, your court disperses, and you're left with pigeons to rule over. Okay. Uh, did not expect that one. Oh, the king is dead. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even beat the first one. You have got to be kidding me. Okay, so we got our second king now. I am King James the second. Uh, so we still have to govern for at least five years. So that first one went awful. Am I the king? Yes. Am I? Maybe I'm supposed to say no there. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I know we've been through this already. That's our curse. See? Oh, God. I'm not sure. Uh, we will remember each and every king of this dynasty. Every compromise, every death for ages. Oh, shit. So even when I die... The kingdom remembers, so I cannot fuck up. How? Let's just say how. I mean, obviously, it's the history books. It's said that only the devil will allow us to blissfully forget the cursed kings. But does he even exist? Uh, I don't... Uh, yes, let's say. Uh, that's an interesting thought. Maybe he does. Maybe we will find him eventually. Uh, I hope not, but I'll say yes anyways. The spirit slowly drifts away. Okay, well, we know how that works. Uh, could we dismember Guybrush's loose tongue, please? This clown broke down a trebuchet. <laughs> Let's kill him. Let's dismember him because he broke down a, a trebuchet. Guybrush loose tongue. I'm assuming that means yes, or it says not so fast. You know what? Let's be a good king here. Let's say not so fast. I was playing tennis with a giant. He won. Pay the... What? What? Pay the army and go... I'm so confused! Okay, let's just tell him to go away. That's the weirdest question yet. Oh god, the fucking birds are back. This message says, Island Islanders are menacing us. We should attack them before they attack. Yes, let's do that. Uh, cereals are very cheap this day, days, my lord. You should adjust the price of bread. Raise it slightly, double it. Oh, wow, that, that's a little aggressive. You know what? Fuck it, double the bread. We need to make lots of money. I want that money sign all the way up. The invading armies are using your trebuchets to destroy our fortifications. I can either defend or attack. Well, if they're destroying our fortifications, we probably want to get out of there and actually attack them. So let's do that. A great fire is destroying your castle, my lord. Oh, no. Okay, so... <laughs> save the treasury, save the garrison. Hmm. So we can either save a part of our army or our money. So I think it's better for our money to take a hit and not our army because we have so much money right now. So let's save the garrison, maybe? Uh, is the bigger circle a hit or what is going on? Oh, shit. Okay, okay. I thought we died, but no, we actually made it five years. Sweet. 
The river drop is dry again. We should build a dam. Uh, yeah, that'd be safe. Let's try that. Uh, this dam will limit the Vikings' access to water. Are you sure you want to proceed? Hmm, okay, well, Vikings are pretty important. You know what? Let's say no. I, I I agree with you. Your people are famishing and unrest is spreading. What or what? Seriously, why does it just say what? The castle is ransacked, your core disperses, and you're left with pigeons to rule over. God fucking damn it. Seven years in power. I mean, in this day and age, seven years wouldn't be bad at all, but I gotta assume I'm supposed to do better than that. We did a hell of a lot better than the first king. Let's try the third king, though, Gerald. Uh, what do we gotta do this time? Win a duel, recruit the doctor, and meet the devil. My lord, a good doctor just saved the life of my nephew. He is a bit of a magician. He is here now. Okay, uh, yeah, let's, uh, meet the doctor. We're supposed to do that anyways? So, or sorry, recruit the doctor. So there we go, we have recruited the doctor. I'm a doctor, alchemist, and prisoner. I can handle life for you, or death, occasionally. Uh, looks like we've got some new cards. So yeah, there is different cards in this game. It's it's really weird. It's a mix of a card game with a Tinder mechanic and then obviously a strategy game as well. But I love how this doctor is just like totally cool with like killing someone for me. So I like him. Glad to have you focus on the life part. No, man. Glad to have you. We might need to kill a few people. My lord, the wolves are eating our ch <laughs> Sorry, but I never expected that sentence. I, I I should not be the person deciding what happens when ch wolves eat children. <laughs> Can we hunt them? I will hunt them myself. You're bluffing. Really? Would a, would, would a king say you're bluffing to someone saying our children are being eaten by wolves? Probably. I would be that type of king. Fuck it. Let's do it. A group of people have become enraged and are now hunting witches. Are we allowed to kill if necessary? Uh... Do we want to get rid of the witches? No. Yeah, let, let's let, let's just let them kill. Apparently, this derangement was caused by rye grain poisoning. Should we burn our stocks? Uh, yeah. I don't really want any bad things to happen. Uh, with your stock depleted, there's a reasonable chance your people will starve in the following years. <laughs> okay. I am clearly a fucking awful king, guys. I'm three years in power, and it's basically telling me I have made my kingdom starve in the next couple of years. The wo the war is long and painful. Call for a ceasefire. I think I will agree with you. Let's call for a ceasefire right now. The Viking- What the fuck? We just called for a ceasefire and now the Vikings are attacking us. We should defend our kingdom from the north. Yes, I think we should defend. Let's agree with him. There we go. The mines are full of gold, my lord. We are rich. I'm rich. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be a good king and say we are rich. <laughs> a convent of nuns has started meowing like cats. <laughs> What? It's spreading to the village. Why would I care? Why would I care if nuns are meowing like cats? Nuns are pretty, you know, good people. I don't think they just normally meow like cats. Why would I say general in this regard as well? I'm assuming it means kill them? You know what? Let's do it. General, you send the army to stop the nun meowing. The church is embarrassed, but approves. <laughs> yeah, you don't want your nuns meowing. It's gonna freak out people. Let's be honest here. Uh, woof woof, Rex invites you to follow him. Uh... Okay, yeah, I'll follow whoever's dog this is. Rex wants to play. Okay, no, okay, here, take that. There we go. Uh, Rex brings back the ball. Again? No, yeah, let's do it again. This is fun. I'm enjoying playing with my dog. Rex brings back the ball again. Should I just spend years playing with my dog? Am I seriously spending years playing with my dog? Uh, okay, so I think we are just in a constant loop of playing with my dog right now. So, that's enough of that. Uh, Wolf Wolf, Rex brings you to the forest. Uh... Hmm, I don't know if I should follow my dog into the forest. I feel like I'm gonna get shot or something. Uh, but yeah, let's just keep going. My curiosity is, uh, going crazy right now. Rex stops in front of a bright orange mushroom. Uh, eat the mushroom? Sh oh yeah, I think this is gonna be good. This is gonna be a good trip, guys. Uh, from now on, you will know more precisely how your decisions affect the kingdom. Is it a gift or a malediction? Well, I have no idea, but at least I'm a little bit more clear now. So where does it say... Oh, it gives me the numbers now! So we know exactly which ones are going to be better from a number standpoint. Well, each one of these is actually worse than good. Uh, a young woman claims that her son is, in fact, your bastard. Should you make this problem <laughs> disappear? Okay, well, this hits my money a lot, but my money is the highest, so I feel like that's the best idea uh, to not make the problem disappear. It is my bastard son, and if it's anything like Jon Snow, I am a happy father. <laughs> 
it quickly becomes apparent that the sun is here to stay. So I guess I have a sun now, guys. That's good. Oh, uh, this one's going a little bit better. We're eight years in power so far. Oh, uh, the harvest is a nightmare. People are famished. Please, sire, decrease the taxes. Okay, I think we will probably decrease the taxes here. Uh, these are just question... I don't like that it's question marks on this one. How dare you or yes. Uh, I'm gonna decrease the taxes because, well, they're going through fucking famine right now. Shall we go together to the Spring Festival? I could invite some of my pretty friends to entertain your foreign visitors. Oh, Lady Charlotte, you know how to get me going. I love how no increases religion. Good idea, game. Good idea. And yes, just makes me lose a shitload of money. Well, my money is dropping quickly, quickly so I'm gonna say no this time. Would you like to marry the young princess of a neighboring kingdom? I mean, yeah, that wouldn't be bad. Uh, and it's gonna be a benefit for everything, clearly, so yes, of course we want to. Your people are eating too much, they're all fat and lazy, you should raise <laughs> some bread. I just lowered their taxes and they all just bought a shitload of bread. This is why you don't reward the poor. Uh, okay, yeah, let's, um... Hmm, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna double the price. I'd rather not everyone get fat either. I gotta assume I gotta keep my people physically fit. It seems the bird is carrying a message, but it's not there anymore. Look at the windowsill, look under the throne. Hmm, I'm gonna say throne. Uh, you find a lot of garbage, but no message. Fuck! Of course it was at the window. The bird was out there. Where? What the, the bird's not gonna go under the throne. I'm a stupid idiot. This message must be important. Let me send some men to the borders. Okay, um... Yeah, let's say yes here. Oh, fuck. Okay, what the hell just happened? Victory, the Vikings are defeated. Should we exterminate all the prisoners? Well, that will make our swordsmen happy, it looks like, but uh, obviously not our population. Everything else says, you know, let them go. So let's do it. Let's be the peaceful guy. I'm doing pretty good. I'm 15 years in power, so I'm pretty happy right now. Your fortress is too weak. We should build a new tower. Okay. Well, we have enough money now. I think this is going to be a good idea. So let's, let's build that tower. Queen Felicia is loved by the people and the army. Give her more power. I mean, I have no idea who Felicia is, but judging by these numbers, people love her and that's a good thing. This is the coldest winter the last 30 years. After a weak harvest, young people are starving. Uh, I can't help. Give our supplies. Yeah, we definitely want to give them supplies. We have almost no money though. We definitely have to start earning some money. We may have a problem. A monk has started to bite his... <laughs> Others <laughs> and it's spreading fast. Werewolves? General. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're taking out the biting monks. Gotta get them the hell out of here. This is probably the case of lycanthropy? I have no idea what that word is, guys. I'm sorry if I absolutely murdered it, but I really have no idea what that disease is. I don't deal with that. Werewolves? I command you. Yes, I command you. Okay. General Bloomington puts the monks in prison. They confessed under the torture that they were indeed werewolves. So it's good we put those guys away. Because uh, our whole city could have turned into werewolves. Werewolves? Oh, fuck. Did they actually turn? I don't think so. No, you should call that cruel lack of physical activity. What? Uh, I have no idea what's going on with this one. I'm just going to say I. Why the hell not? There's a cholera outbreak in the capital. It's the Blue Death. Treat the population and close the castle gates. Oh, shit. So, I think closing the castle gates might be the better idea here, honestly. Uh, I don't really care about my population as long as I'm okay. We're gonna close those gates down. There's a crisis in church. We need to reform our religion. Whoa, not so fast. Sure, let's do it. Well, obviously my religion is doing the best right now, so whoa, not so fast. Oh, fuck. Okay, the old. I thought I died again. We still have to meet the devil and win a duel, so we really haven't done much yet. Uh, we found gold in the mine. Should we try and dig deeper? Uh, yes. I need more money right away. Oh, God, our population is dropping really freaking quickly. I need to start hitting my religion. My lord, your son is a young prince full of promises. Let him come in. Uh, no. Let him come in where? Into, like, knighthood or into running my kingdom? Let's just let him come in anyways. I mean, it is my son. I'm the next king. I will kill all infidels. Whoa. Whoa, Prince William, you fucking chill out. Okay, let's say not so fast. We need to have the added population and fuck religion right now. I would like to conduct a new research on the fabled transmutation of lead into gold. Could you finance me? Saying yes drops religion as well as money, and saying no just bumps religion? So I gotta assume no would be the best option there. My lord, the king of the west is visiting us. <laughs> Boring. Delightful. Let's say delightful. You know, we, we, we need to appreciate other kings. We should organize a grand dinner. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm okay with the dinner. Let's have a little bit of, you know, fun events every now and then. It's a terrible idea. The king will prefer to go hunting. Uh, okay. 
Uh, wh wh why are you guys talking back to the king? Nobody should be talking back to the king. Uh, but you know what? I agree. Hun hunting sounds badass, so let's do that. No, Saya. Diplomacy and good taste dictate the dinner. Oh, for fuck's sake. So you've got to be kidding me. Why are you guys arguing? Okay, let's do the fucking dinner. And Sir Henry is a pathetic snob hunting. Let's just do both. Yes. Oh, fuck. What the fuck just happened? While you were busy preparing his arrival, the king of the west invaded your country and then sent you into exile. You- you motherfucker! Oh my god, it went so well. Well, let's look at the timeline and see how we did. Uh, Gerald the Old. Uh, oh, well, I guess technically he went to old because we all called him old. Where's the timeline? There we go. Uh, so yeah, there is actually like a cool timeline here, so I don't know... How much of a story there is to this game, but I think we're gonna end this one here guys now Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of this because I don't plan on doing any more unless you guys really like it So I hope you enjoyed this again. This is Reigns. If you do want to play it for yourself link in the description of this video Hope you enjoyed guys. Thanks so much for watching and liking and I will see you in the next one <laughs>